today I'm going to prepare two Mangalorean dishes. Like uh, it's the same preparation, but one is chicken and other one is beef. So before uh, chicken sukha and beef sukha, it's prepared with the coconut, the scraped coconut. And now similarly, I have boiled beef. Now this beef is uh, cut into small bits and boil along with um, again pepper powder, turmeric and salt. So I'll keep that aside. Now for this both of them same uh, ingredients you have about 12 to 12 uh, red chilies, cinnamon about two sticks, about five cloves, uh, five cloves one ball of tamarind, about four seeds garlic, three four teaspoon turmeric powder, about twelve peppercorns, half teaspoon cumin seed. Now the same uh, ingredients masala. Now we got uh, one chopped um, onion for both, one one each, and this is about two thirds. Uh, of a coconut I am keeping for the chicken and one third coconut I am keeping for uh, oh, the beef. You can make half up if you want depending on the quantity and this is uh, curry leaves for uh, chicken and as well as for uh, beef. Now this is coriander leaves, chopped coriander leaves. I will put half for the chicken, half for the beef later on. Now I've already ground one masala, one same type of masala, and this is a masala. So, and this is uh, masala water. So keep that aside. Now I'll put a little oil, and then the masala. Now I'll put the coconut and fry it in there, and then remove it back. In the, you get the aroma of the fried coconut. I'm removing this coconut, fried coconut, in the little of the masala. Then I'll add little oil again, just like the chicken sukkah and fry the onion. One, one and a half tablespoon of oil. Fry the onion. Brown the onion. Now I have added the curry leaves, frying them a bit, and adding the masala. And again, I will fry it in until it becomes dry. Once it dries up, then I will add the rest of the masala water and let it lose this rawness the masala. Then you add the beef pieces and water if required in the beginning but then you finish up all the beef water, boiled water in it. Reducing the water while frying it in it. Nearly dry. Now, what I'll do is add only the beef pieces, boiled beef pieces, and fry it in, in that a bit so that it coats it slightly. And then I'll add the 
boiled water. Use a non-stick uh, spoon. I am using a steel because I am not touching the, scraping it out anyway. And this pan is nearly finished its life. Boil the meat by pressure cooking, or you can get this on a vessel. But now, now, if you want the color to be slightly yellowish, you can put a little more uh, turmeric powder. for picnic as a dry dish, side dish, whatever dish you want to make. Beef sukkah. 